Okay, so we're going to review importing and healing some geometry. I'm going to import a, uh, an IGES file as a part. I'm going to auto sew, which tells the, the system to um, try to heal this part and, and get the edges together um, if you can and break any trim edges that, that may be in place, uh, activate the part so we can start working on it. And um, I'm not going to delete duplicate surfaces. We're going to use our uh, healing tools after we import this to, uh, to check this part out. All right, so, you know, first of all, the part come in, it's in its um, orientation of, of where this thing was actually made. So, some things you can do when you first import a part, we can draw some stock around this and pick a plane on the part. So now that this is here, we can do a move these entities from between points, maybe from here to here, and go to 0, 0. And we can also use these vectors. So what was in this vector can now be in our x vector. So we can start our alignments, if you will. And we can do one more move. So let's do one more move. And we're going to move it from 0 to 0. And we can say what was pointing in this vector can now be pointing in our y direction. So a couple simple moves gets this geometry um, at our center point of rotation a little bit uh, closer to where we actually wanted to deal with this. So now we can go to our healing toolbar. Let's say show open edges. So we have 58 open edges. <clears throat> so we can start off um, with some simple, easy, obvious surface issues, such as this surface here. If we go to our freeform tools and choose a trim curves, um, you trim this face to curves. I'm going to pick this face, I'll move that over here for now. And my curves, I can just right click and say pick all. But I want to keep this inside area of this face. <coughs> so quick and easy to trim that back. And as I'm moving my mouse on my part, I notice that I have this shape. This is not sewn in. We're going to do a, uh, a sew to get this put together, but I also notice that we have this block over here. So that leads me to believe that we got something to trim away over here as well. So at this point, maybe I'll set my pick filter to face. And I see this top face has a redundant face. If I right click and say erase, what happens? Well, now I can see that this top piece should be trimmed away and we actually needed that face that we deleted. Not a big deal. Undo our delete. Hold my alt key down and I can pick this face here that should not be there and erase that face. So now I, I actually erase the wrong face again. Again, undo, alt, pick through. And I'm going to move my mouse off of my part this time and then erase this face that we didn't need. So again, we can go back to the trim to curves. We're going to trim this face. We can try shift picking. Um, this is where I like just to say pick all. Pick all my curves. And I want to keep this outside edge. And I didn't get my curves right, so let me say pick all. 
there we go and now it trimmed that away if I go back to my healing tools show open edges still got 76 so let's go ahead and do a heal analyze on these faces so now we're down to 48 open edges so let's while we're here on this edge we'll go back to our free form and we can do a ruled face I'm going to turn my shading off see if this is ruled four edges and notice the dash red edges went away when it created that ruled face and now we're down to 44 so ruled is for two simple edges um, this would prob probably be a um, some sort of a patch but we got in our healing toolbar we can say fill gap pick an edge middle click and it just picked around that and filled that gap with a, a face for me so now we're down to 37 so again let's turn our shading on and look at some so here's a couple big areas that need some work and if we go back to that um, end-sided patch turn our shading off and just pick these edges and choose OK. Now we have that patched. Now we're down to 29 open edges. So again, <clears throat> middle click goes back to the same command. We'll go walk around and pick the boundary because this looks like it has the same problem as the other part did, the other edge. <coughs> and as we zoom in, we picked our eight edges, say OK. Now we're down to 21 um, edges that have a problem. So now if we hit Zoom 2, the software takes us right to this area that has a problem over here. And I'm just going to rotate around and kind of get a little different look at this. So this is what we typically call a bi-rail loft. So by rail meaning one rail two rail that's by rail and I want it to guide this profile all the way over to this profile now notice when I picked the first profile we got a nice clean edge starting here but it didn't join up to here so we need to pick that last edge so we've got four driving edges of this uh, by rail loft and as I choose OK now we're down to 17. That's a nice looking um, patch or fix, if you will, on that edge. So we can keep working around here, and we can actually go back to that by rail loft and try this tool over here. That fixed that. We're down to 13. and I see on this back side over here we have a surface that is untrimmed so back to our freeform toolbar uh, trim to curves and again pick that face and I like just using pick all on my curves and I want to keep this area this face so it will trim that away for me and again go back to heal I just simply middle click for all, let it do its thing here, and it has now got us down to four edges. Zoom two. What's wrong with these edges? Okay. And that is actually on this side. So let me turn my shading on and see what happened here. So at this point, we need to get this edge over to here. Um, we can simply erase that face, click on Fill Gaps, 
and now we are done. We went from an imported part out in space to a clean part ready for core and cavity with no open edges. ZW3D, import and heal. Enjoy.